Good morning. I survived camp. I'm back. When I say survived, I'm a little bit mentally scarred. <laughs> and I'm also sick. So I survived camp in the fact that I got out of there and I don't ever have to do that again. So those are the positives. Um, it's Saturday morning. The boys have some friends over, which is nice because they all play together and I get more time um, to myself. <laughs> Excuse me, there's the old camp cough. <coughs> um, my husband, he's also sick, so he's asleep and I'm just planning on sitting and reading for the day if I can manage it, if the boys continue to play nicely together. Um, as predicted on camp, no, I didn't get much of this read at all. I think I'm on page 200 and, oh, 255. So I'm over halfway through. Um, <clears throat> it's just, the story of Ursula has just started to calm down and not jump around as much. I think <clears throat> the author has assumed we've got what's going on to a point and now we can start to settle into some sort of um, narrative. Though, yeah, I'm still trying to work it out. I get the basics of it, I guess, but if there's still um, a key that's missing for me, something that's missing. So I'm thinking maybe in the next 200 pages that'll become a bit more apparent. Um, <clears throat> I'm also sort of seeing how the first chapter of the book is is being tied back in. So that's starting to make some sense too. You know, books are a puzzle, aren't they? They're just sort of bits and pieces that you've got in your mind and you're trying to put them all together into some sort of, you know, the author's dropping clues along the way. Um, I kind of like that. I kind of like the, the moving parts and then them all coming together at the end. I think that's a very clever skill when done well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's um, a great read and it, it gave me some solace on the cam, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just going to be my day. Hopefully we can get this finished today. With four boys racing around, we will see. books that have all of these marks all over them and wonder what they are. It's kind of cool to know that somebody enjoyed some yummy food while they were reading this, but still. Curry? <laughs> I don't know. What I've done? I've set up a Twitter account. I've never had a Twitter account before, but I figure if I'm going to be a serious booktuber, then I should have a Twitter account. <laughs> I don't know what to say on Twitter. I guess my next step is to find my favourite booktubers and perhaps follow them. But I'm excited. It's, um, yeah, it's really cool. So I've done the Twitter. I've got my Goodreads. Where's my Goodreads? There's my Goodreads. I guess all that's left is Instagram, so I can start bookstagramming. That's a lot of work to being a bookshare. It's not as easy as just making some videos, is it? Anyway, I'm excited. It's doing something for me. That feels nice. And of course, my first person that I follow on Twitter will always have to be my not-so-secret crush, Steve Donahue. But hey, he's got another woman on his page, and by that I mean Frida. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, a little reading update. I'm on page 300 of My Five to Life. And I just needed to chat about this. But this, this book is... I'm, try, I'm trying to find the words, but I think that it's not confusing. I know what's going on. It's not bizarre. It's, it's structured and it's okay. What it's doing is it's really pushing me out of my reading comfort zone. So the first chapter of this book starts with a clangor, yeah? And then the whole book I'm waiting to get back to an explanation on that first chapter and how we got to that place. And just when I think that we've settled, so it's jumping, so it's, it's really about what would happen if you made different choices, if different things occurred to you along the way of your life, then how would that affect future events? And just when I think with Ursula, our main character, where we're in the zone and we're not going to jump around anymore and we're, we're getting on that track towards that explanation of the first chapter and, and how Ursula got there. Bam! Kate Atkinson just changes it up again. And it's really testing me. I'm, I'm not disliking it, but what it's, it's, what it's doing is just kind of making me go, gosh, come on, you know, like every time... Ursula dies and we have to start on the road again I'm not bored by it I'm just getting a little bit frustrated maybe that I just I just want her to stick to the story I just want her to stick to the story I'm 300 pages in the point has been made that past decisions shape future events I'm getting pushed out of my comfort zone of just reading this kind of linear story plot that's what's happening and it's frustrating me but it's, you know I, I need to continue and, and push through this level of discomfort to try and work out what's going on to try and get to that resolution that I need as a reader for some reason it's really interesting how this book is making me assess how I read and what I like to read. And when something a little bit trickier comes along or something that's a little bit, um, that's not as linear and, and not as easy to, not as easy to grasp straight away, then my frustration levels start to lift. So life after life has not become an exercise in just reading a good book. It's now about pushing me out of my reading comfort zone, which is interesting. And it's something that's unexpected. That's why I love a good book. That's why I love a good book. Anyway, Ursula just died again. And now we're starting back, going back 20 years again. And let's you know I'm at the point now where I don't see what she could be doing differently or what different decisions could be made but anyway we I just need to push through I'm under 200 pages from the end this something's got to give soon <laughs> something's got to give soon okay thanks for chatting with me I like that you're here to chat with about this stuff okay I'll keep on reading let me pick up first one. Can you come? What? <laughs> what? What are you doing? I just told you not to turn it. You definitely heard me. Look, I was very reasonable when you opened the book, but this is too much. Whatever you do, please don't turn the page. I'm gonna turn it. What are you doing? Are you sure? Okay. Uh oh. You did it again. Are you mad? I've been kicked out of my bed because the boys are watching footy. So I'm in Patty's room, which is why I have all of these Harry Potter books behind me. 
I haven't read any. I, I don't know if I ever will. Is that a confession that I should just keep to myself? My husband read them with Patty and loved them, but just not for me. Anyway, I'm just um, doing some YouTube watching. There's Anthony Andrews. Just doing some YouTube watching and then I'm going to snuggle down into this little tiny bed and do some um, eating until the footy's finished and I can go back into my own bed. The joys of being the only girl in the family, huh?